Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is a beautiful, sunny spring morning. I like totally, for the first time this weekend, I felt like spring is finally here. Is it officially spring yet? I don't think it is. I think it starts mid-March maybe. But anyway, it feels very spring-like. Lou and I spent um, most of the day Sunday in the garden. We actually started at the front and just kind of turned over the soil and just cleared out all the weeds. Um, gardening is effort isn't it <laughs> i feel like you really need to keep on top of it um, and we obviously hadn't over the winter so we kind of cracked on with that which was lovely and then we did a little bit of gardening out the back yesterday morning i'll show you out there in a bit actually because we're kind of gonna we're gonna change a few bits um for this summer because a few bits that aren't really we just, just a few bits that we don't really like out there so we're gonna be changing a few bits i'll show you out there um, I have just I plaited my hair this morning because it felt really dry so I kind of smothered it in Moroccan oil and put it in some plaits and um, yeah it feels really like the oil is soaking in. I'll wash it later obviously but um, I thought I'd just plait it for the day. Um, I have not really got much planned today. I've actually got quite a bit of work to do on my laptop. So I'm going to crack on a little bit of work this morning but I was going to um, do my nails. I mentioned in my favourites video that went up on Sunday about doing my nails. I was going to do them that day and then obviously I didn't so I thought I would do them this morning and quickly show you how I do them because I've had quite a few people ask if I can um, show how I do them. I mean it's pretty st standard. I'll make sure I kind of keep it very brief and just quickly show you what I do to make them stay on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that in a minute and then I have had a few packages arrive yesterday that I really wanted to open but I thought no, I'll wait and open them in a vlog tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to open them in a bit and yeah, probably get out in the garden this afternoon with Lou. Lou's working this morning but he did say he wanted to do a little bit of gardening this afternoon so I might join him out there if the weather stays nice. Oh, also I rearranged these shelves this morning. Um, someone mentioned this book, laying it down and putting a bowl on top of it. And so that is exactly what I've done, a bowl and a candle actually. And I think it looks a lot better laying down. But um, what do we think of the arrangement of the stuff I've got on the shelves? Do you think it's kind of too busy? I know some of you will think it's far too white and neutral, but that is just my taste. So there will be no color being introduced. <laughs> Um, but even those blue stripes on that vase annoy me. I'm thinking of painting the bottom of that vase. Um, but, um, yeah, what do you think? Do you think it kind of works with this amount of stuff? Is there too many bits and bobs? I like it. I think it works like this. Um, I'm really happy with how they look. And if I stand back so you can see, I just think that having them in the middle, because we did consider having these units all the way across, and I think it would have looked so kind of bulky just having a row of units. I think it looks so much better having the shelves there to break it up. Um, but yeah, really pleased with how they look. And these are the eucalyptus that I that were in last week's vlog as well. And I actually think they look really nice, kind of splayed out a bit. Um, anyway, I am going to grab my nail kit and show you how I do my nails. Okay, so I've just prepped my nails. So I filed them and kind of shaped them a little bit and then buffed them using this buffing brush just to kind of take all the like natural oils off them I guess and just to create a little bit of a rough surface and what else have I done oh I pushed back my cuticles a little bit with this little thing that sort of just pushes them down I got this I think I got this from Amazon but the kit does come with these little wooden sticks you can also use them to push the cuticles down if you want to and then I'm just going to use a bit of this nail prep and polish wipe to again just like clean the surface of my nails. First of all, I'm gonna put a coat of this My Gel 5-in-1 Builder, and this was the product that I mentioned in my favorites video. And as you can see, it's like really thick. It's like a really thick gel that just gives a really good, hard, long-wearing coat. So if I just hold my nails up here, It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and day <laughs> I'm sitting in the most awkward position so that I can show you properly um, But I'm just curing them for 60 seconds 
Okay, so next up, I'm just gonna put two coats of this my gel polish in the color pastel chic i say two coats i might put three on depending on how well it goes on but it's better to put three thin coats than like one or two thick coats so just make sure that each yeah each coat's thin and i will cure it for 30 seconds um but this is a um led lamp this is this lamp so i think if you've got i think the led lamps take less time to cure um but you can check on your on your own lamp how long it takes but yeah anyway i'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds per layer okay so i ended up putting on three coats of the pale pink just because a couple of them looked a little bit patchy so i've gone for three thin coats and now I'm going to pop on a top coat. By the way, I'm doing one hand at a time. Um, I just find it easier that way. So I'm going to use the top coat, which is the MyGel top coat that came with the kit. And put one coat of that on. And then we're nearly done. Okay, top coat's cured. And then the final step is just to use more of the nail prop, prop nail prep and polish um, just to remove the sticky residue because whenever you do gel nails they always get left with like a little bit of a sticky residue on top that needs removing. So I've just gone over them and then I will finish off with some cuticle oil in a bit. Once I've done this hand I'll put cuticle oil on all of them and show you the finished look. Okay I've just done my other hand and I've popped some cuticle oil on as well so they might look a little bit oily. Um, but yeah, they are complete and I think it took me about, I think about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, not too bad. I think they look pretty good and they should last me a couple of weeks now, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions about anything at all, leave a comment and I will get back to you and I will link everything that I use down below in the description box as well. Look at me, I'm like this and I will link everything. <laughs> Um, but anyway, Lou has just rang me and said he's on his way back from work and he's absolutely starving. Um, so could I cook him up some... He, hasn't, he didn't have any breakfast this morning, he left early, so can I cook him up some lunch? So I'm going to pop the oven on, make something for him to eat, and then I will open up some of the packages with you afterwards. I'm just about to make myself some banana pancakes because... I haven't eaten yet and I thought I fancied them. So I've just blended up in my Nutribullet. I've put in one egg, one banana, um, about a quarter of a cup of oats and some vanilla essence as well. And I did also add a little splash of almond milk in there just because it looked a little bit thick. Um, but I might have added a bit too much actually because it looks a bit runny. But anyway, I'm just heating up some olive oil and hopefully they will turn out okay. Okay, I know they don't look the best, but hopefully they will taste amazing. I had them yesterday and they were really good. Um, I have just popped a little bit of honey on top just to sweeten them up a little bit. And I'm gonna tuck in. We've just finished having lunch. I had banana. I say lunch, it was more like a brunch because neither of us had had breakfast, which we don't normally do, but um, we just went hungry this morning. Anyway, I had banana pancakes, so definitely more of a breakfast. Um, really tasty. Lou had a sausage baguette. <laughs> Um, but I have got three packages here to open, three boxes. Um, I don't know what's in any of them, so I thought it would be fun to open them with you guys. This one says fragile on it, so I don't know why it's fragile, but we shall see. Ooh, it's a black box. Oh, it is from ASOS, Urban Decay and ASOS. Oh, yes, I did know that this was coming. Launching the 1st of March, ASOS Face and Body will add the new Naked Wild West palette to its iconic lineup of Urban Decay products. A winning mix of matte satin, metallic, and shimmering shades made for every mood under the western sun. Here's everything you need to create your own Wild West look. 
enjoy Urban Decay and ASOS. Oh, okay, so, oh, this looks fun. So this is the new palette from Urban Decay, um, launching on the 1st of March at ASOS, which was yesterday was the 1st of March, wasn't it? Um, oh, look at the packaging of that. How pretty. Oh, that looks beautiful. Now, you guys know that I'm not like a massive eyeshadow person. Like, I tend to use kind of quite neutrally colours. But that is beautiful. Like, the colours in that are gorgeous. And I love that little pop of turquoise. Even, like, on holiday, if you're going for, like, a really kind of bronzy gold look with all of those colours, and then you just put that little bit in the inner corner of your eye, I think that would look beautiful. Um, there's actually a really, really nice mix of colours really lovely and then obviously you get the brush as well and then in here first of all there's a little silky scarf which i love the way these look like tied around a ponytail um in the summer in the spring summer um or tied around my head like i mean not like that but like when i'm on holiday i quite like them as a hairband um and i really like the kind of print of that as well that looks really lovely and then some other bits as well. What was in here? It looks like some earrings, maybe? Oh yeah, earrings. Oh cute, just a little selection of, um, a little selection of gold hoops. And then this looks like a denim jacket, which I think we're supposed to be personalizing on a Zoom meeting. It's so here, personal yeah, personalising your denim jacket. So I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that I'm meant to be doing this on a Zoom meeting. God, I'm useless, I've completely forgotten. But basically this they've inserted some like little patches and then you can personalise it yourself. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to be doing that soon. So yeah, that is what that is. Right, let's see what is in this next one. And then I have promised Lou that I will go and help him in the garden, which I'm actually quite looking forward to getting out in a bit of sunshine for an hour or so. Oh, Pauline. I think I know what this might be. Um, Pauline actually contacted me back in, I think it was like November, December time and asked if I would like to select a bag and you may have seen it, I think I actually unboxed it in a YouTube video um, and anyway the first one I went for, I opted for this one but it was out of stock so I selected a different one um, so I'm guessing that this has just come back in stock and so they've sent it out as well which is super super generous. Um, I say, I keep calling it Pauline, I'm not sure on the pronunciation, it is spelt like this, with a little kind of apostrophe above the E. So I don't know if it's Pauline, Pauline, Pauline? Um, do let me know like in the comments if you know how to pronounce it, please do let me know. Um, but I have got a few of their bags and they are the most beautiful quality, stunning bags. And this is a new style. I think this is one of their newest styles that, re that was released at the end of last year. Um, and I just think the shape of it is absolutely gorgeous. It's very simple. It's just got the kind of branding at the bottom on one side. And then on the inside, there is also a detachable strap as well, which clips on to like that. I think I've put it on right. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. I think, I think this would look lovely on its own or with the strap on it. Um, the leather feels gorgeous and Love the colour of it. Beautiful, especially for coming into spring. Absolutely stunning. I will leave it linked below. Um, but thank you so very much, Pauline or Pol Pauline. Like I said, please do let me know how to pronounce it properly. I should probably know by now, seeing as I've got numerous bags from there. 
Um, and then this one arrived a few days ago, actually. Ooh, a big blue box. Oh, okay, it's from L'Oreal. Um, it is a new Revitalift Laser Pure Retinol Night Serum. I have been using the, well, not recently, I ran out a little while ago, but I was using the Hyaluronic Acid um, Serum at night and really, really liked it. Um, so I'll be interested to try this. Um, RRP 19.99. Yeah, I'm gonna. Do you know, what, I'm gonna try this out this evening, and then there's also a a throw in here as well. Really randomly, there's a yellow throw from Zara Home. Um, I mean, it feels really lovely and soft. I'm not really a yellow person interior-wise, but this would be great as a picnic blanket. Well, that's what I'm gonna use it for anyway. I think. Um, but yeah, feels really lovely and soft. So thank you very much, L'Oreal. Right, I am going to break up all of these boxes, go and pop them out in the recycling, tidy all of this up, and then I will go outside and have both. Oh, before I do that, I did just want to quickly mention the lipstick that I am wearing today is this one. It is from Bare Minerals and it is in the shade Grace. And I've been wearing it quite a lot recently. It's like a really lovely, I'll just swatch it up on my arm so you can see. Um, it's kind of, in fact, it looks a lot pinker there than it does on my lips. But it's like a really lovely pinky nude, but quite pigmented and just a, yeah, really, really nice shade, especially for spring. So I will link that down in the description box if you're looking for a nice lipstick. I did notice the other day they actually had it for 20% off as well. So I think it was either look fantastic. I'll, I'll find out. I'll check where it is and I'll link it below. Um, but yeah loving that at the moment and i've been wearing that quite a lot recently lou is currently out there oh he spotted me nothing i'm just showing that i'm just showing that lou's currently out there demolishing oh <laughs> hang on one minute he's currently out there demolishing the planters i know they haven't been there for that long but we just decided that they were really ugly <laughs> It was Lou's idea to build build them in the first place because basically we had to dig a soak away in the garden. Oh fine, I'll come out, I'll come out. Hey, I'm just explaining the soak aways. Uh, the um, planters are going. Um, so yeah, we, we did them in the first place because we had to do a soak away so we had lots of excess soil really, didn't we? Yeah. So Lou thought it was a good idea to build some big planters to put that excess soil. Soil, it is a lot of soil that's <laughs> i know yeah so we yeah we just needed somewhere to put all that soil um so we decided to do the planters and we've also decided that we really don't like them they're just big and ugly and they're just not quite big enough to for enough veg were they like we were finding we could only really plant about four you know like if you yeah it was too deep but not not really big enough so anyway, oh, it's a bit chilly out here. I know it's not when you're moving, but I'm gonna go and put a jumper on. Yeah. Um, Are you coming out? Yeah, I'll come and help you for a bit. Reluctantly. No, no, I know, I know. Um, so yeah, we, we decided, we've decided to get rid of them and I think we're either going to put, oh, also the buxus that were all at the bottom there, they just weren't, we've taken all of these up and planted them. Where are they? Oh. Um, we've taken them up on one side and we're going to take those little hedges up as well. Um, they're just not growing very well. I don't know what it is, if it's the soil or where they're positioned, but they just weren't growing at all and just looked like they were dying. So we've decided to get rid of them for now, get rid of the planters as well, and either put grass down there or, yeah, I think we're just going to get some turf, put it down there, maybe do like a little border of flowers along the back or something like that, right? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go and get changed into something a bit more practical for gardening. And I'll come out and help you, okay? Yeah, I will. How long do you Five minutes? This is just one, another thing we need to think about. What, the squirrels? Well, all of it, and the, and the big snab of barbie. Yeah, 
So for those of you that don't know, this house was actually, well house, this bungalow was actually my nan's and then when she passed away it's left to my mum and my uncle and Lou and I bought it off them. Um, but anyway, like, because we bought it off them there's so many things, so many different things that hold a lot of sentimental value and that piece of granite is one of them um, because basically that was always at the bottom of the garden, about around where it is now actually, but it was it was kind of like there was a bench behind it and then that had like a slab of concrete underneath it and it was kind of like, like a little table I guess. Um, but me and my sister used to always call it the coffin. When we were here, when we were little I mean, obviously like five, six, seven, um, we'd always just call it the coffin and we'd say oh I'm going to sit on the coffin or um, I don't know, we just, we just decided it was a coffin and that there was someone buried underneath it. <laughs> As you do when you're children. Um, but anyway, when we, were, when we were sort of gutting and redoing the garden, that was one of the things that we were like, oh, I wonder if we can keep it and turn it into something that works with this space. Which is why we put it in between the two planters as a little seating area. Um, but it just hasn't really worked, really. I think it's just, yeah, it just doesn't really sit right there. It doesn't look right. And so it needs to be changed. So I don't know what we're going to do. But Lou is giving me the eye as if to say, come and help me. So I'm going to quickly get something more practical on than a white linen shirt <laughs> and um, go and help him for a bit. But I've got to get all this bark out, right? Yeah. And then I want to knock that out and spread it where I need to. Okay. I'm not going to just keep bagging it out straight away. So I've got to get basically clear that. Get, what are we going to do with this bit? I don't know. All that bark's going first, and then otherwise we're just going to be putting soil on top of bark. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I can't knock this out with this in. No, I know. What do you think we should do with it? But it's up to you. It's your thing, isn't it? And I, I quite like it. It's just, it's just like a garden colour, isn't it? Yeah. It gets all warm and stuff. It but does. it's just a bloody... Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention of water um but it is, it's so lovely out there i forget like when lou asked me to help him i'm always like oh i've got stuff to do i can't and then i go out there for an hour and like an hour later i feel so much better after doing a bit of gardening like it really kind of invigorates me um but it's yeah it's really warm out there actually i need to take this body warm off um but we've been well i'll show you we've basically knock this soil down um oh my battery's flashing um i've taken some of those boxes out and then we've been taking that soil out to the front to build up the flower beds out the front um but i am going to grab my cap and sit in the sun for half an hour with a drink and quickly make some selections so i've got some um selections to make for an everlane video that i'm doing this month so we need to do that at some point today and get them over get them over to Everlane um, so I'm gonna sit outside chill for a bit and do that while Lou carries on bless him It's just coming up for five o'clock and we are 
popping for an evening beach walk. Well, we basically Lou's loaded up the va his van with a lot of the soil that he dug up today, haven't you? Yeah, I'm tired. He's very tired. Yeah. Oh yeah, how many have we done? Lou's been wearing my Fitbit and he has done 26,235 steps today. I can feel it. As I don't well. think I I think in all the time I've worn that, I don't think I've ever done that many steps in one day. That's poor, isn't it? Um, I thought, I was saying to Lou, when I, whenever I've done 10,000 steps, I used to be so like pleased to myself and be like, yes, I've done 10,000 today. He, he's had it for a couple of days and he's done like... It was 20 years ago. Well, by 20, the end of our beach, what, oh, can you turn the heating down, please? I am roasting. Um, 20,000 the other day as well. Yeah, 20,000 the other day. And by the end of, by the time we've gone on a beach walk now, it will be... 30,000. 30,000 30. Oh, we're just going through our old neighbourhood now. I'll show you our old house in a minute if we go past it. Um, but yeah, we're going for a beach walk and we're dropping the soil at Lou's mum and dad's house because they're doing up their garden at the moment and his dad said that he could get rid of the soil. Which, I mean, hasn't been easy for you loading it up into the van, has it? But at least it gets rid of it. And we don't have to look at those big old planters anymore. Um, so yeah, this is our old road. Let me... Let me just show you. You can can you slow down when you go past our house? Oh, our that's, house. Uh, our house. Our old house. That is our first house. There. She's probably going to see me filming that one there, on that side. That side um, was our first house, wasn't it? Happy memories there. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for a lovely little evening sunset beach walk. I say sunset. The sun's kind of disappeared behind the clouds now, but hopefully it'll peak back out again. And I came straight to sit down on the sofa. Lou had a shower and he just walked in here and said, mate, you look like your nan. You've, you're sitting there in your gilet. Bearing in mind my nan isn't alive anymore. Um, but I'm sitting here still in my body warmer with a blanket over me. <laughs> um, I didn't even realize it's not even cold in here. We've got the heating on, but you know, sometimes we just like being cozy. Um, but yeah, we just had tea. I had um, chicken that I fried up with some natural yogurt, garlic, ginger, curry, powder, paprika, and what else? A bit of oil, I think that was a bit of coconut oil. Um, and some sweet potato fries, and Lou had steak, and normal fries. Um, and we're just watching Friends, but we're gonna carry on watching, um, what's it called that we're watching, Lou? Um, well, we've got more of our options. Oh. Yeah, but what were we watching last night, that train programme? Uh, ice Piercer? No, you keep saying Ice, it's Snow Piercer. It's Snow Piercer. Snow Piercer. Um, yeah, we've been watching this thing called Snow Piercer on Netflix. It was on the top, you know when you see the top 10? It was on number 10 of the top 10 trending. So we started watching that. Um, it's quite good, it's a bit, a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Basically it's like, the world has frozen over and there's a train travelling around the world at really fast speed. Um, I don't know, have they mentioned the speed? Well, it must be going at a really fast speed. It has to be at a certain speed to survive, to like... Um, Pierce the ice. To, yeah, to basically generate enough heat for the people on it to stay alive. It sounds really weird. I'm not, I'm not sort of there's selling it. Um, yeah, but there's been a murder on the train and it's a really, 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 really long train. <laughs> thousand and one carriages. Yeah, thousand and one carriages. Anyway, we've been watching that and we're quite enjoying it. Um, but we're also going to watch Unforgotten, I think, tonight, aren't we? Yeah, nice and mellow. Chill out and watch Unforgotten, but I thought I would just finish off the vlog here. I know, I know it's been quite a quick, like, one day vlog, um, but... What? Apple Loop? Lou's offering me... I won't put it on you, Lou sat with no top on neither. Yeah, Lou sat with no top on. That kind of explains how hot it is in here. <laughs> Lou sat with no top on and I'm here in a blooming gilet and a jumper and a blanket. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, gonna finish off the video here. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.